welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be going over 8 methods which will hopefully fix any audio issues you are having in your Windows 10 PC or laptop. And the very first thing you want to do, which is very obvious, is just ensure all the cables that are connected for your audio are absolutely fine. Just make sure there's no damage to those cables. If you can see a slight bit of damage in the cables, then replace the cable, as that could be causing you issues with your audio, especially if it's crackling, popping, or you're just not getting any sound at all. If the cables look absolutely fine, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure all the cables are connected. If the cables look absolutely fine, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure the cables are plugged into the correct places on your laptop or PC. So just ensure they are plugged into the back in the correct port for your sound output. And also just make sure they are connected on your monitor to the correct port or into the back of the speakers, depending on what you are using. If you still have no luck with the sound working, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure the speakers are actually turned up. So if you're using a monitor with its inbuilt speakers, just go onto the monitors menu and then go onto audio and just make sure the volume is turned up. If you're just using the speakers that are on your desk, just make sure they are turned up and also turned on as well. If you're still having no luck with the sound working, then the next thing you want to do is just make sure you have the correct playback device selected in Windows. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner, you will see the speaker icon. If you click onto the speaker icon, as you can see, I currently have my BenQ monitor selected for the output of sound, and that works absolutely fine. But if I wanted to change this to my headset, then I'd have to select my headset from the list, which would be speaker's high definition audio device. I will now hear sound through my speakers. I'm just going to actually turn that down, but that will then play sound through my speakers. So just ensure you have the correct device selected. And also when changing the device, you will want to back out of any programs or games you have currently running. As sometimes having a game or say a web browser like YouTube open in your web browser, it won't detect that change. So you will then still have no audio. So close down everything, change the device and then open up the game or software again. That now brings me to games. If you are having issues with sound in games, you will then want to head on over to the settings page and then audio settings and just ensure you have the correct device selected in your game for audio. And also make sure you do have the in-game sound turned up as well. Because if you don't have the in-game sound turned up, then obviously the game's not going to play any sound. Also, once you are in-game, it is worth quickly alt and tabbing back to your Windows desktop. And then open up the volume mixer by right-clicking on the speaker and going open volume mixer. And just make sure the applications, where it says applications here, Make sure the game is turned up on the volume here as well, because you can set different volume levels for different applications. If you're still having no luck with the sound in your Windows 10 PC or laptop, then the next thing we want to do is run the sound troubleshooter. To do this, all we need to do is right click on the speaker icon and then click on troubleshoot sound problems. As you can see, it's now trying to detect any problems we now need to select which device we are currently having issues with. I'm not actually having any issues, but I'm going to go ahead and select my BenQ, and I'm now going to go Next. As you can see now, it says Turn Off Sound Effects. We could go ahead and try and turn off the sound effects to see if that helps improve the sound quality, if that's what you're having issues with. I'm not actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go No. We can then go ahead and apply a fix. As you can see, it's detected that my BenQ is not my default device, 
which is actually correct because we did change it to speakers high definition. I'm now going to skip this fix. As you can see now it's saying try increasing the volume. We've already tried all that so that's not going to fix the issue either. And it's not found any other issues. But it has detected that the audio might be muted as well, which we would have resolved by turning that up. If you are still having issues with the audio not working, then the next thing we want to do is just make sure we have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. To do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in update, and you now need to click on check for updates. You now need to click on check for updates again, you may be thinking, oh, why do I need to check for Windows 10 updates? How will this resolve audio issues? But you would be surprised how many times a Windows update can actually help fix audio issues when it comes to Windows 10. Just simply because I might be running a newer version of Windows than what you're currently running. If you're using, say, version 1909, but I'm currently on 20H2, then there might have been a fix for your Windows PC or laptop that would have solved your audio issues. If that did not fix the problems you're having, then the next thing we want to do is open up Device Manager. You can do this by right clicking on the Start Menu icon and then clicking Device Manager. You now need to go down to Sound, Video and Game Controllers and you now need to right click on your sound device. I'm going to right click on high definition audio device and you now need to click on update driver. You now need to click on search automatically for drivers and as you can see I do have the best driver installed for my device but if yours did find a newer driver then let it install that driver, restart your machine and then see if that resolved the issue. If that did not fix the problem then it may be worth heading over to your manufacturer's website for your audio and then installing the driver from there and seeing if that fixed the problem. If that still didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you're going to want to do is right click on Device Manager and uninstall the device and then reinstall the device again. If you restart your PC, Windows 10 should automatically install the device again automatically but make sure you do have a copy of the drivers just in case it doesn't install the device again. But like I said, you can always head on over to the manufacturer's website to get the driver. But just be careful when uninstalling devices. Make sure you do have a backup of the drivers in case anything goes wrong. It might even be worth creating a system restore point. If you are still unable to get the audio to work on your PC or laptop, then it might just be an actual fault with your speakers. So it's definitely worth trying them on another machine if you do have access. But unfortunately, that does bring me to the end of this video. The only other thing I can suggest is a reinstall of Windows 10. Just simply because something could have become corrupted that really is stopping your audio from working. I hope this video did help and you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.